Well, we now know how the man who was found dead in a bus shelter during the snowstorm this week died. Larry Burrell was one of three people in Erie County whose deaths were weather related. But as a memorial grows for this quiet, gentle man, his death is prompting more controversy than he ever had in his decades spent living on the streets. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller joins us live from Main Street tonight in Williamson. Yeah, and fundraising efforts, Jeff, for Larry Burrell have been suspended at this point. More on that in a minute. We have just learned from NFTA officials that he officially died on Wednesday inside this bus shelter on Main Street in Williamsville of hypothermia. And we want to show you this growing memorial here that people are coming. They're leaving his favorite Tim Hortons drink as well as a couple of bagels and different flower arrangements, all to honor Larry, who was a staple in the community. And many people have wanted to help financially to put something in Larry's name. But late this afternoon, I learned that all fundraising efforts have been suspended. There were multiple GoFundMe accounts, and they've raised close to $15,000. Those have now been shut down. This, I'm told, is at the request of Larry's family. His family says they are taking care of all arrangements for him and will not be accepting anything from the public. I talked with both GoFundMe operators today. One tells me she's working with GoFundMe to potentially return the money to those who donated Another says her committee is meeting later on this week to discuss the best course of action for the money. And while some are outraged that Larry wasn't brought to a warm shelter, NFTA police say he simply refused. Uh, we have also determined that several of the businesses in the area had offered him assistance on uh, Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday evening, and he had declined those offers. He was, he was on the street where he wanted to be. And NFTA police have officially determined that Larry again died of hypothermia during those sub-zero wind chills and temperatures that we saw on Wednesday night into Thursday. Again, you are asked not to donate to any fundraising efforts in Larry's name. All GoFundMe accounts have been suspended at this point, and this is at the request of Larry's family. We are live in Williamsville tonight. Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.